Welcome back to TK Tennis. So today we have a review for Torna Big Hitter Silver 7 Tour. That's a mouthful. So you might be asking, why am I reviewing a string that's quite old? I don't care if it's old or new. If it's a string that's worthwhile, I'm interested in hitting with it. And also there's been several people that have asked me several times to review this string, so I thought I would. So let's jump into it. So quickly on the specs, Torna S7 Silver. The S7 is for seven-sided string. Um, it does have some texture to it. Obviously, it has seven sides. I, if you watch my shape versus round video, I spoke about how seven or eight-sided strings are basically just round or textured strings. And that's what you feel with these strings when you're stringing it. They do have some edge. It's cert They are certainly not as sharp as a four- or five-sided string. Uh, shape poly. So let's consider seven and eight sided for the most part relatively round with some texture. So let's jump into the attributes. On the snapback category, it gets a very good to excellent. These seven sides that are, again, not very sharp, they slide really well across the string bed, and the snapback is excellent, especially the first five to six hours at my hitting level. They really snap back quite nicely, almost at that excellent level. They're not particularly slick coated strings, sort of their normal poly, you know, semi-slick coating, but snap back is really, really good. On the spin potential, because it has those seven sides and a little bit of texture, I would give it slightly above normal, but lower than high. So like I always say, if you are not a big spin player, but you're looking for more spin, these strings are not gonna give you extra spin for free. If you are a big top spin player and you're looking to add a little extra spin, you might get a little bit extra, but it's going to be really nominal. Obviously, your swing path and your strokes and your overall pocketing of the strings dictate the most spin potential over what a seven-sided string like this might have, but it's very, very right. good. In terms of power, there's not much to talk about here. It gets a normal. It gets the normal level of power that you'd expect from any really good quality poly, whether it's Alu Power or Polytor Pro or the dozens and dozens of others of strings, it has a nice power characteristic. Not any additional punch, just what you'd expect. Moving on to accuracy, it gets a very good to high. These had excellent accuracy and there's a lot of signal, a lot of feedback on these strings that contribute to allowing you to hit the ball very accurately. Um, sometimes with shape poly, especially four or five sided polys, you lose some accuracy because of their sharp sided edges. But because this is a seven sided string, essentially close to round, you don't get any of that loss of accuracy that you might with, with a four or five sided poly. So accuracy is almost at the high level. It's almost as good as you can get. Moving on to durability, it also gets a high. I broke these at around the eight hour mark, seven and a half, eight hour mark, which is excellent. What's what, what I normally expect from a good quality poly. And what was nice is that they, in terms of tension maintenance, it also was excellent. Probably as good as any string that I've played with. They didn't really start breaking in and getting really soft until about that six hour mark where they then just got a little bit softer. It wasn't dramatic. And if I remember right from TW University, these strings I think are the greatest, the highest in terms of, or best tension maintenance. And you could feel that on the court. They really hold their playability for a very long time. Moving on to feel, these are not soft strings. They have a lot of signal. They're quite crispy. They're certainly not muted. There's no way to describe the string as muted. So that they are crisp, firm, and lively. And I would say aluish. So they have a lot of signal like Alu Power does and also like Head Hawk Touch and Head Hawk do as well. They have a lot of signal. There's a lot of feel there. And that's something that I think a lot of players really like because the strings really talk to you a lot, but they don't give you anything harsh or uncomfortable or just that weird feel that sometimes you get when strings have too much feedback. So again, I describe it as very much Alu-ish. Final grades on the intermediate level, sort of that 3.5 to 4.0 level, I give it a B, maybe even a C. It just depends if you have pretty loose, free-flowing swings and you like the feel of having a lot of feedback from your strings, but not too much, you could give it a B. Some people might see this as a C string at that level, but I give it a B. In terms of the advanced level, sort of that 4.0 to 5.0 level, it's an A string. Some people will find this to be an A plus string. Again, if you really like that type of signal and feedback from your strings without being uncomfortable, you may give this even an A plus. 
And for the high caliber players, those players that really like to use the Polytor Pros and the Alu Powers, Head Hawk Touch, and other high quality strings, it's also an A string. And it may be even an A plus for those players as well. So who is it for? If you enjoy the high signal feel of Alu Power or Head Hawk Touch when they are new, but want more longevity, S7 should be on your short list. The string delivers an excellent balance of crisp feedback and excellent performance. It's firm, but not harsh, and is not for players who prefer a softer feel. So if you're someone who wants a little more pop and a little bit more of a softer feel, then you may not think these are an A string. But for those players that do, it's a fantastic string. Because it holds its tension so well, you could say maybe it has a slightly smaller sweet spot, like with any crisp and firm not string. Abrasive. The sweet spot doesn't feel like there's as much pocketing, and maybe it's a millimeter or two smaller. If you're a little bit off-center, that's probably the only negative thing I can say about these strings, but that applies to really any really crisp string. What about value? When you combine performance, longevity, durability, playability, and cost, these are the best value and performance on the market and it may not even be close when you're getting a set of strings for eight dollars versus twenty dollars or a reel for a hundred dollars 660 foot reel for a hundred dollars and you get all the playability of the best strings on the market with the durability with the cost savings it's fantastic would I use it again yes two thumbs up will I replace it now I would probably give these an A plus if I was going to replace my normal Super Smash with these strings. For me personally, which is probably the least important thing for you, is I wouldn't probably switch to these only because I like a little bit more, slightly of a muted feeling with a little bit more pop, a little bit more explosion, and a little bit less signal than these strings give me. But I would be happy to play with these again. Accuracy, everything about them is really great. So that's just my personal preference. If I was switching to them as my primary string, I would personally give it an A+. But there's going to be a lot of people that use this string that think it's an A-plus string and one of the best strings on the market and certainly the best string on the market when you factor in cost, durability, longevity, and performance. So again, very pleasantly surprised. I was not expecting these strings aren't particularly sexy. They don't come in a lot of colors. I think they only come in gray and maybe black. Um, I was not expecting them to be this good and you know I do a lot of string reviews and most strings don't surprise me and again I'm not saying these are dramatically better or this is going to change your game these are very nuanced opinions and observations I make about strings but these are no doubt at the very upper level of what you can expect out of a string for certain players that like that sort of extra feedback that comes from their strings. If you like these videos, please remember to like and subscribe and ask me any questions in the comments and I will see you in the next ace.